Hey everybody, it's Brad at Dayport Brothers LLC out in Versailles, Ohio. Gonna do another walk around video followed by an operational video on this Kubota B2650 that came in and we're putting up for sale. Like always, I'm gonna walk around, talk about the features and functions. I'll get up close to everything, show you everything I see, tell you everything I know. Then of course we'll fire it up and kind of run it through its paces. Show you that there's really no play up here in these front pins on the loader. Show you that the backhoe's nice and strong, all the hydraulics are strong, move it around. As always, if you are in the market for a used tractor, a used piece of farm equipment, or a used piece of construction equipment, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. Your likes and subscriptions help other people who are looking for machines find our videos and find our machines, and we truly, truly do appreciate it. All right, like I said, this one's a B2650. I don't have the exact year model. They started making these in 2013, so that's the oldest it can be. This one is OROPS, as you can see four-wheel drive LA 534 front loader with the skid steer mount quick attach BH 77 backhoe R4 tires 898 hours cranks up runs really good as uh, as you'll see in a little bit there's really no play up here in these pins everything's nice and tight hydraulics are good and strong as we'll kind of go around and see there's a little bit of a fade to the paint the loader uh, if you're familiar with Kubota at all these loaders kind of fade to a different color than the hood and the fenders do and it's got just a little bit of a fade to it not awful but there's a little bit of a fade there front tires are good I'm gonna say these are 50% or so front rims really good <clears throat> rear tire probably even better yet I'm gonna say these are this one here is probably 60 65% lots of tread life left there the rims really good the fender's pretty straight. There's a few little scratches here or there. Nothing out of the ordinary and nothing major, just small scratches. Coming back here, looking at the backhoe, kind of matches up to the loader, a little bit of a fade, but not bad at all. Pretty straight. <clears throat> I don't see any cracks or welds or anything on the backhoe anywhere does have the rubber pads on the outriggers controls are in good shape again this rear tire matches up really well to the other side lots of tread life left there the rims in good shape looking at this fender here a little bit of a ding there again a couple little scratches here a little bit there this front tire matches up really well to the other side. Definitely lots of tread life left there. Again, this rim's in good shape. Looking at this side of the loader, it matches up really well to the other side. A couple little scratches here and there. Nothing out of the ordinary. Again, I don't see any cracks or welds anywhere on this loader or the brackets or the arms. The bucket seems fairly straight. I did check those. It is skid steer mount, quick attach. That worked really smooth there a little bit ago. Before I did the video, I made sure that was releasing good both of the this pipe looks fairly straight this one's fairly straight that grill guard's pretty straight it might be just a little bit there just real small uh this is probably the worst part the right up here in the front of the hood there's some dings here i don't know how well you can see them there's some scratches and a couple of this there's like a dent here and here i'm sure they had something in the bucket and lifted up and tilted back too far take a look underneath the hood here See if I can do this with one hand. There we go. There's no shock on this one holding it up, so I'll have to do it by hand here. As you can see though, very clean in here. Not a bunch of oil or diesel running down it. Everything looks really good underneath here. this down and that, that black mesh looks pretty good a little bit of concrete splatter here nothing major both the headlights look pretty good yeah, see if I can see anything down here you can't really see much here everything looks good in there though a 
little background on this tractor. I sold it to this guy a little over five years ago, I think it was. He's used it, it's been a good tractor for him. He actually just traded it back in on a bigger Kubota. Just wanted the bigger tractor. Take a look at the operator station here. A little bit of paint starting to rub off there where you step on and off. That step's in good shape. The rubber floor mat's decent, it's cracked a little bit there. Hydro pedal's in good shape. Check out the seat. The seat's in pretty good shape. I don't see any cuts or tears in the seat. Both armrests are good. Uh, the seat does, these are supposed to lock, but this one pivots on its freely. It's actually, I mean, it's not supposed to do that, but it's, there's supposed to be a lock on it. It was actually kind of nice. I've got long legs. It makes it a lot easier getting on and off for me anyways. If you twist it just a little bit, it gives you more room, sit down. These do have a digital dash. Let it fire up. As you see, 898 hours there. These have tilt steering wheel, this little lever down here. Push it with your foot and the steering wheel tilts down. Kind of a nice feature on these. Everything looks good. Paint on the hood's fairly bright. Same with the fenders, they're pretty bright. All right, like I said, B2650, 898 hours. We'll fire it up and get right into an operational video. If you want to see photos, they're on our website. Our website is listed down below in the description.